2024 has just begun, but state budget season is already here. That's right, and our L Myers joins us from Lansing, where Governor Gretchen Whitmer presented her budget for the 2025 fiscal year. This budget actually is smaller than last year's budget, about half a billion dollars left in less than general fund. We also have amassed record resources in our rainy day fund, as well as an education fund and paid down billions in debt. So we're in a strong fiscal position. It's an $80.7 billion budget. That's the total the state is looking at for the next fiscal year, which begins next October. Whitmer has focused much of her attention and large swaths of funding in this budget on education. We know that the smartest investments we can make are in the education of our people. That's why bumping up the goal of having universal pre-K by two years and making it available in this next budget um, is something that is, is really important. Within education, she presented an expansion of $159 million in state funding to put towards getting all Michigan children into pre-K ahead of the previous schedule and another $30 million expansion to offer community college tuition to Michiganders. One Republican who serves on the House Appropriations Committee, I talk Talk to tells me she's concerned about the spending. I think that uh, it was great on talking points, short on the details. It does appear as though it's a lot more uh, special programming for certain target areas, target groups, um, really not a distribution, you know, uh, for everybody in Michigan. Whitmer also presented about $37.5 million to create a tax credit for people who care for elderly family members or children with special needs. Bolin tells me she wants to make sure any programs and initiatives the state continues to fund are successful and effective. We continue to invest and reinvest and really have no results. We still have learning loss and a lot of the programs seem to fall short of meeting the end goal. Now it still remains to be seen if the even split in the Michigan House will create any additional challenges for lawmakers looking to approve and pass this state budget before the deadline later this year. For now, reporting in Lansing, I'm Elle Myers, CBS News, Detroit.